uh, do you think it is to have a serious talking about this bullying, about this subject? In this day and age, incredibly important. I think that uh, I'm so proud to be a part of the project because it will spark those conversations. And uh, really with everyone, students and, and, uh, and their peers, uh, parents and, and their children, teachers and their students. So uh, uh, yeah, I think it's incredibly important. I really do hope that that's exactly what happens. It's, it's also hard to talk about some, some things there. Uh, how do you balance how we can show, I mean, I mean to not influence anybody? Right? No, of course. And Right, it's not a glorification of, no. you know, we don't glorify her actions. What it is is an examination of the individuals who contributed to her actions. Mm -hmm. I think that's what we've done a great job in the show of doing, and hopefully what people take away from it is uh, how their actions affect everyone else's uh, uh, lives, you know, on a, yeah. on a daily basis. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and I think that also to not glorify it at all, I think that what the show does a good job of is in the, the last episode making sure to make a point of showing all of the positive roads that Hannah could have gone down and all the all the positivity ahead of her parents right. and like these these interactions she's having with people and Clay, they would have totally been there for her. And the show makes sure that you know that mm -hmm. so that you are heartbroken mm -hmm. uh, at, at the end. And so that's that's how you don't glorify it but because you you're like you're like, no but don't don't like you're yeah, begging her to time. not through the uh -huh. screen, you know? Uh -huh. So it's uh, huh. that that's to me how they did such a good job of mm -hmm. From the book, for the script, how was it? How challenged? I mean, the clay, the clay in the book is amazing, and it's a great character, but it's quite different from the show, considering that in the book, Clay listens to the tapes in one night, and this he listens over the course of almost two weeks. So um, I didn't necessarily go straight to the book for inspiration or for my source of um, how I study the character. But I did know it was there, and I did start to read it, but I didn't finish the book till it was over. I really just wanted to make sure to understand the character where he was going to end up at the end of the season just so I could know how to play him and, and where I should be emotionally in certain episodes, you know, so I'm not overdoing anything. And, uh, mm -hmm. I just wanted to make sure I was aware of the entire, of the entire story. Mm -hmm. So just to... But anyway, what about you? Well, yeah, it, I, so Tony's not in much of the book, so it, the, uh, what we see in the series is really an expansion on the mm -hmm. character. So. Uh, while we were filming, we didn't get all the 13 scripts at, at the beginning, you know, so it was coming in sort of, we'd get one, we'd be filming one and get the next episode. Mm -hmm. So I was growing with the writers and with the production team and our, our relationship was developing uh, as, as friends and as actors and as these characters. And so the challenge was making sure that uh, I, my performance was true and I wasn't a, a different Tony every episode, I think. Mm -hmm. And have you heard about your fan, uh, fans in Brazil before they started the, the show? Yeah, they've been very supportive. It's lovely. They've been uh, on social media, particularly, right? They they are really huge fans of the book, and they're so excited for the show. I can't wait for them to see. It's great. They're all over. I'll, I'll be on Twitter, and I'll, they'll be like tweeting these pictures that I've <laughs> never seen before. I'm like, Where they get these? <laughs> this is amazing. Okay, just to finish, could you send a message for your fans in Brazil? We have a lot of them. Yes. <laughs> Obrigado. Thank you so much. We love you. We haven't even met all of you, and we love you. We'll meet you all someday soon. I hope you enjoy the show. We'll be over there. Let's hang out. Yeah, I know you want to go to fucking Rio. I want to go to Rock yeah. Rio. That's right. <laughs> I would love to. Yeah, Maybe this year. Exciting.